In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the AC condenser cooling fan on your Dodge Ram. And it's located right underneath your hood on the driver's side. Before disconnecting your AC lines, you want to go ahead and have this vehicle brought down and have the system professionally evacuated of the Freon that's inside the system here. Let's go ahead and use our 3 8 wrench. I'm going to go ahead and loosen this nut and remove the terminal. I'm going to go ahead and spin off the terminal and just go ahead and set this aside. Lift up on our protective boot here. We're going to use our 10 millimeter socket on our gear wrench. Now that we have the bolt loose, let's go ahead and spin the terminal off. And go ahead and set that aside. Right here is our battery hold down wedge and it's a 13 millimeter bolt with a 13 millimeter uh, not on the other side. So we're going to use a wrench on the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and hold that. This point here, we can go ahead. Pull that out. Once you have that wedge out, go ahead and remove the battery, set that aside. Once we have our hood open, we're gonna locate this harness, use our trim tool, I'm just gonna pop this off. Use our Phillips head screwdriver, we're gonna loosen the center of this screw tip right here. And this is just a plastic anchoring button I'm going to pop out the center. So we're going to go ahead and grab the fuse box and gently lift this up. That's going to release this base for our lock button. Take this unit. We're going to slide it towards the passenger side. I'm going to lift this up and we're just going to tuck it off to the side to where the battery was. We're going to use a securing strap to hold this box up and out of the way. Use your 13 millimeter socket to loosen and remove this bolt right here. Now on the bottom side of our AC condenser fan unit, there is a electrical harness and you can see in the mirror here, I'm going to use a pick. You want to get to the little tab on the bottom. You want to pull that down on that tab a little bit and disconnect that connector. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the mirror down because I want to grab that connector with my other hand as I pull down on this tab and separate that harness. Okay. Once you pop that clip and wiggle that harness off, go ahead and set that aside. So we're going to go ahead and use our 13 millimeter socket and disconnect, loosen this nut here. And we're gonna disconnect that hose. Now our system was already evacuated. There might be a slight bit of pressure still in the system. Always like to wear safety glasses and gloves when doing something like this here. Let's go ahead and remove that and set that aside. Now there is a rubber o-ring inside here still sealing this unit. You want to make sure you're wearing your safeties. I'm just going to go ahead and put a towel over this here. Go ahead and pop this out. And you might hear a little hiss. In our case here, we're completely emptied out, which is good. On the front side of your AC condenser, you're going to have the other line right here. Use your 13 millimeter socket. Let's go ahead and loosen and remove this. Let's go ahead and disconnect your AC line there. Use your 10 millimeter socket. Loosen this upper bolt. 
I'm going to go ahead and remove this. Once that's out, we're going to go ahead and remove the one on the driver's side upper portion here. Go ahead and grab the unit and wiggle it back and forth and we're going to disconnect the pins from the bottom. Work this unit up and out. To remove your fan from the AC condenser, there's going to be four 10 millimeter bolts, two on this side, two on the other. Let's go ahead and loosen and remove those. Go ahead and lift the unit off. Install the fan onto your AC condenser. Go ahead and get the bolt started. get the two bolts started on the other side. Now that we have them all in, we're gonna go ahead and snug those down. Get lower the unit down into place. As you lower it down, the pins on the bottom will line right up into the platform and the lower radiator support. With it in place, install the two bolts on the top. Let's go ahead and snug those down. Install a fan connector. Feel it in here, it snap into place. Now when installing your AC line here, you wanna go ahead and make sure that the O-ring is in good reusable condition. If there's any marks, nicks, or any damage to it, now's the time to replace it. Now in our case here, our bolt that secures it on the top and bottom were damaged. So we ended up having to resource or source some studs here and uh, use those for installation. If your hardware is in good condition, you're just gonna use those there when installing your hose. Now installing these studs here, I'm gonna go ahead and thread the short side in. Simply thread them in as far as you can by hand. Then we're gonna use our five millimeter socket with our ratchet. And we're just gonna snug that down into place. We're gonna go ahead and do the same for the lower hose. Line up the hose, 
press it into the condenser, make sure it's nice and flush, and go ahead and install the nut. Once that nut bottoms out, just give it a little bit more. You want to make sure that's snug. Check that line. You're good there. You're going to repeat for the bottom one. I'm going to go ahead and press this into place. Make sure that that O-ring pops in and that we're nice and flush on the flange there. Snug that down. You'll make sure that this is nice and evenly seated all the way around. Snug it into place. And you're all set. When installing our fuse box unit here, there are two tabs right here that go into the side of our battery tray. So you're gonna insert it and then slide the tray back. Put those in, slide the box back. It's gonna install your bolt right here. Snug that down. And just snug that down gently. Take your harness, bring up that little button right here, line that up, and press that into place. Okay, bring your battery over. Lower that down into position. I'm gonna go ahead and take our battery wedge block. This portion of the wedge will go up against the base of the battery. Drop that down into place. Then take our nut. In most cases, you can remove the battery without removing this block completely. We just found it easier to go ahead and do so. Go ahead and grab your wrench and your socket here and snug that down. Go ahead and line these up. Push these down into place. Now our battery terminal bolts were a little corroded. We went ahead and replaced it at this time. If you tighten this here, that bolt can be weak and break even while you're on the road. Go ahead and tighten down the positive bolt here. Slide that boot on top. Go ahead and tighten down our bolt here. At this point here, you can go ahead and bring the vehicle down to your local shop and have the AC system recharged. You should be all set. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.